back everyone to Loving Living Local. Well, children with autism and their families might be facing challenges when it comes to working from home and isolating. Well, Brittany Smith is the director of healthcare, health, telehealth, I'm sorry, at the Shandy Clinic, and she joins us this morning with some insight on how to deal with some of those challenges. Good morning to you, Brittany. Good morning. Well, let's begin by asking you, what are some challenges that children with autism and their families might be facing while working from home and having to be isolated? Yeah, I think, I think every family is kind of facing some challenges right now, but um, those families with children with autism are probably facing some unique challenges or challenges to a different degree. And I think the biggest one is being keeping a routine right now is an extremely difficult task. Um, with school being in person one week and then being e-learning the next week and same thing with the parents workplace um, that can cause a lot of loss of regulation loss of sleep um, also decreased independence in their daily activities attention to their tasks on school on the computer and both in person can decrease um, they're getting a lot less socialization which is a skill that we typically need to work on and all this can cause a lot of frustration and, and exhaustion for both the child and the parents so those are definitely some major challenges yes I, I think you are absolutely right when you say it's all the inconsistency that could start to affect a child is telehealth actually beneficial to those with autism I think that's a great question because telehealth is pretty new to um, just the world that we're living in and pediatric telehealth is really difficult to find research in. So I did bring some statistics for you guys as well. Okay. Um, I'll go through those. Um, in a study published by the official journal of the American Academy of Pediatrics, they directly compared behavioral therapy implemented in person and behavioral therapy implemented through telehealth services, and they found that in both groups, problem behavior was reduced by 90%, which is a huge number. Yes. Um, also in a study from the Journal of Autism and Developmental Disorders, they showed significant gains in verbal initiation, responses, parent carryover with children participating in teletherapy. Um, and those initiation and responses, that's huge in expressing needs and wants, which can be greatly used in reducing um, problem behavior and increasing self-regulation in kids. Um, the last one I brought was a literature review as well, and this is from the International Journal of Speech Language Pathology, which is your speech therapist that you would typically see. And they found out of 14 separate studies that services delivered via telehealth were equivalent to services delivered face-to-face -face, and sometimes even greater than those groups that would, don't have telehealth at all. So with this research, it really shows that it can be beneficial with those with that diagnosis and similar challenges. Yeah, you know, that's so good to know. Uh, what type of skills can you guys address and how can we help some of these fa families dealing with the challenges? Absolutely. Um, with telehealth, we've had a lot of experience. We've had the program for about two years now. Um, but in the last eight months, we've gotten a lot of experience and gotten to be creative through the holidays as well. Um, some things we can work on are communicating needs and wants, as well as educating the parent, giving them additional ideas on self-regulation techniques and ideas. We can work on self-care skills like feeding and dressing. We can help with that visual morning routine and nighttime routine to reestablish those routines and improve behavior and improve sleep. For those families that are completely isolated during um, this pandemic to, to health concerns, we can also provide a safe outlet to practice those social situations with other children via telehealth. Um, I guess what I'm truly saying is we can work on anything and everything, and there's no reason why a child's necessary therapies need to go on pause right now when we're completely committed to giving the best care through telehealth. Yes, I think any help we can give uh, children is very crucial, especially during these times. Well, thank you so much for being with us this morning. It sounds like the response has been great. And so, again, great information. Thank you. Of course, for more information, all you need to do is go to shandyclinic.com. This segment has been sponsored by the Shandy Clinic this morning.